first thing you didn't know about the Power Rangers? Their command center, home of Rangers mentor Zordon, is actually a building at the American Jewish University's Brandeis Barden campus in Simi Valley, California. The structure has a pretty impressive career in showbiz with appearances in Star Trek VI, The Lawnmower Man, and videos including Marilyn Manson's The Dope Show. Next up, Brian Cranston voiced two characters on the show in 1993. Goodbye, Power Rangers! The show later honored Walter White by giving the Blue Ranger the last name Cranston. This one's name is Billy. Okay, what's Billy's last name? And it's like, mm, I don't know. Uh, hey, well, Cranston's here. Billy Cranston, fine. He's back in the new one, presumably with less auditioning and more dough. The third thing you didn't know about the Power Rangers, the show was banned in New Zealand over its violent fight scene. Several Canadian stations banned the show and Malaysia temporarily banned it over the use of the word morphine, which the government felt kids would associate with the drug morphine. Next, talk about morphin' time. The American version of Power Rangers has spawned 20 Power Rangers spin-offs, including Power Rangers in Space, Power Rangers Time Force, Power Rangers Jungle Fury, and Power Rangers Super Samurai. And all of this was based on a long-running Japanese show called Super Sentai. Ninja Black, Ninja Blue, Ninja Red, Ninja White, Ninja Yellow. Last thing you didn't know about the Power Rangers, when the actors went to Universal Studios in LA in 1994 for a meet and greet with fans, they attracted 35,000 people and caused an eight mile long traffic jam. The action figures were so popular that parents trying to get them for their kids Christmas gifts were forced to camp out and buy them from shady characters at hugely inflated prices. Block, chop and kick, protect the earth from evil space alien. May the power protect you. That's five things you didn't know about the Power Rangers.